In this test, we're going to be looking at a plumbing system uh, where we're using 120 volts to power the pump. Uh, the pipe size is going to be 1.5 inch for the suction line and return line. The pump size is a 1.5 horsepower variable speed pump. And the filter size is a cartridge filter, 150 square feet. So what we're going to be doing here is testing from 500 RPM all the way up to maximum RPM and at 120 volts for the electrical supply that means 3000 RPM will be the maximum like you can go higher than that but the revolutions of the motor do not increase past 3000 so we'll start at 500 here and just show you the plumbing system we're going to be utilizing this single inch and a half suction line pump filter and on the return side two inches closed off so we're going over here through this inch and a half digital flow meter and an inch and a half analog flow meter so again 500 rpm to start with here which is so low like you can't even tell the things on you'd have to put your hand on it to even know that it's on right now but it's still moving you know over 11 gallons per minute 11.2 gallons per minute very interesting and so we'll be monitoring the electrical consumption up here we've got a couple of ac options actually so right now you're watching watching the wattage draw the real-time wattage power consumption uh, we also have this secondary meter installed here here we go so about 62 and a half watts top right corner this one's reading it at 63 and a half and we have some options here to look at like amperage draw there's slight variations like here we're showing 0 0.69 amps this one's showing 0 0.75 we'll take a look at those numbers throughout this and just see how they compare but for now they're pretty close All right, so let's continue on here. Just over 11 was what we were starting with there. Again, it's very little. Like taking a look at that analog flow meter. Not sure how well you can read that, but that equates to, as I would read that, about 16 or 17 gallons per minute. What I'm reading that at over here on the digital. Yeah, there we are. Just just right under 17 gallons per minute. 16.9 power consumption, 95 watts. Same thing, 95. Just under 23 gallons per minute, 135 watts. almost 29 gallons per minute Let's compare the amperage here 1.63 1.64 pretty good
just under 35 gallons per minute, just under 260 watts. Just under 41 gallons per minute, 363 watts. Two thousand RPM. Forty six and a half gallons per minute, five hundred watts, nice round number. Four point two five amps on that one. That's pretty good. So almost 50 gallons per minute for 500 watts of power consumption. Six hundred and eighty watts or so. Twenty five hundred RPM. Just under sixty gallons per minute, fifty nine gallons per minute, 900 watts, seven point seven amps, 900 watts. Now we're nearing the maximum, the upper value for what this pump can run at. The pump is actually capable of much more. The limiting factor here is the current draw. The current needs to be accounted for with the size of the breaker and the size of the wire that feed the system. And conventionally speaking, if you're talking about a 120 volts or 115 volts, you're looking at between 12 and 13 amps as your maximum current draw. So when we go, go up just a little bit higher, we're going to hit that plateau and the pump won't be able to deliver any more power because if it did, it would trip the electrical breaker. So they're designed to work that way, even though they're capable of much more power than that. About 65 gallons per minute. 1,190 watts. Over here, the decimal point moved. You see it as 1.19 kilowatts. That's the same as 1,190 watts. See, we're at 10 amps draw. That's a lot. And that's why this is the second to last reading that we'll be doing. That is maximum speed. 
under this voltage supply. Seventy point seven gallons per minute. Not a super impressive number. Because it is fifteen hundred watts. Fifteen hundred watts is probably a number that you've heard before, like how about a big baseboard heater or electric heater? Is that heater about 1500 watts? There's a reason why that number is selected and it's the maximum that you can run under certain conditions, like at 120 volts without oversizing the breaker and oversizing the wire using conventionally sized, I think 12 amp or 12 gauge, depending on what the electrical code is. I'm in Canada, you might be in the USA. There are some slight variations. And so that's why we're just looking at numbers like 1500 watts or 1.5 kilowatts for just over just about 71 gallons per minute now watch as we turn up the rpm further listen to the sound of the motor Did you hear how the motor did not change? Neither did the flow rate. Nor the power consumption. And again, that's a function of operating this pump at 120 volts versus operating at 240 volts in which you also have between 3000 RPM to 3450 RPM as an option for you, but not at 120 volts. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingcoolsteve.com.